I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some freaky clips that you need to see to believe. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Our first eerie clip of the day comes from Twitter user Elder Glorfindel. In early December, the OP and their friends were visiting Sasego Beach in Rio de Janeiro. While waiting for an Uber to arrive, they filmed a quick little video of a goat walking by on the opposite side of the road. The Twitter user posted what they thought was an amusing clip but didn't think too much about it. That was until a friend asked who the person was in the background. Confused, the OP reviewed the clip knowing full well there was no one else around when they captured the video. They were shocked at what they saw. Watching that again, at first it can be hard to see, but if we slow it down, there is indeed a figure of a person standing in the bushes. They look pale and grey and even somewhat transparent. The OP and his friends were shocked because they're certain there was no one across the road when they filmed the goat. There is definitely something off-putting about the figure. Whoever or whatever it is, it seems to be just staring blankly from the bushes. So what's going on here then? Was there really a person there the whole time? Or are we witnessing something a little more mysterious here? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. Hey peeps, just a quick interlude to let you know today's episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Now it's awesome sponsors like these that help us to keep making the content that you know and love. Raid Shadow Legends is what happens if you crossed a blockbuster movie with a real AAA game, then squeezed it into your mobile phone, and it's completely free to play. Every great game should have some challenges and longevity waiting near the end. Well, in Raid Shadow Legends, that endgame content is the Doom Tower. It's basically one giant prison filled with nasty goons and badass bosses. To get to the top, you're going to need a seriously good team of champions. Each floor is challenging enough, but the bosses are next level and you're going to need some specialists. So there's never been a better time to jump into Raid. Download the game for free using my link in the description box below or just scan that QR code right there. Raid's prepared something special for all new players this Christmas. Download Raid Shadow Legends from the links below, then go to 12daysofraid.plarium.com. Enter your player ID, then set out on a fun festive adventure that lasts 12 days from December 19th to January 10th. Each day, play a new minigame for a chance to win some amazing prizes, including holiday-themed raid champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Existing raid players can also find a special holiday promo code that everyone can use for a small festive gift. Also, Raids just released a legendary champion based off MMA legend Ronda Rousey. You can get her for free just by logging into Raid for seven days between now and February 28th. Use the code RAIDRONDA, that's RAIDRONDA, to get a bunch of helpful stuff perfect for leveling up your champion. But that's not all. New players, use my special link down below or scan that QR code right there and get a free starter pack worth almost $30. You'll find all these rewards in your inbox for the next 30 days. This next series of photos were sent to us by Twitter user Andrew55White. The OP says that the photos were taken in a house he used to live in in Wylam, England. One evening, out of nowhere, Andrew says he felt a sudden rush of cold air and felt uneasy for no apparent reason. Given the strange sensation, he decided to take a few snaps around the room to see if anything might show up. And sure enough, something did. In this first one, you can see a series of black patches. While at first you might just think it could be a camera malfunction or lighting issue, the shapes change in the subsequent photos. In this next one, there's a collection of distinct golden orbs. A lot of photos that feature so-called supernatural orbs are often just specks of dust catching the light of the room. 
However, these orbs couldn't possibly be dust. Each ball of light has a unique pattern, is translucent and has some flaring around the edges. The following day, another photo was taken in the same spot. Here we can see a sort of golden light in the middle of the room. The strange thing is, we asked Andrew if this was a regular occurrence. He said it was a once off and that he's not felt that cold feeling or seen the orbs ever again. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on here. It's possible that it could be a camera malfunction, but then how does one explain the cold and uneasy sensation that was felt directly before the photos were taken? Is it all just a coincidence then? Love to hear your theories on this in the comments down below. In the early hours of November 13, 2022, four University of Idaho students were found stabbed to death in their six-bedroom off-campus house on King Road in Moscow, Idaho. At the time of writing this, the suspect and motives for the brutal attack have not been identified, leaving the local community worried and outraged at the lack of information. In a Fox News follow-up report, some chilling footage emerged that's left viewers stunned. As a reporter ran through the timeline of the murders out the front of the crime scene, some strange audio was captured in the background. Take a listen. Um, is there anything that you can share with us that may put people in that direction where they would feel willing to share about that timeline? Um, I've heard a little bit of feedback on this that people are nervous about the timeline. You can hear a distinct scream in the background. Um, um, um. The news report went viral on Reddit with many theorizing on what the sound could be. The fact that the news reporter is standing out the front of the house where the murders took place, some viewers have speculated that the screams are a sort of EVP resonating from when the crime took place. About that timeline. Um, as this is an ongoing case, it's hard to comment further on what this might be. However, given the circumstances, the sound is absolutely chilling. About that timeline. Um. It's never easy saying goodbye to loved ones and often funerals are very hard to get through for friends and family. But what if there was a sign that the lost loved one was watching on? Well, that's exactly what some viewers have suggested is happening in this next clip uploaded to Reddit by user CAO5GFJ2K6. During the OP's grandpa's memorial, something odd was captured on camera. Take a look. At that time, Jesus said to the crowd, everything that the Father gives me will come to me and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. In the background, the door appears to open all on its own. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Reddit user saw it as a sign that their pops was paying a visit to all his friends and family at the funeral. A lot of commenters agreed, saying that they too had felt and seen signs of lost loved ones at their funerals. One user said at their grandmother's funeral, the hearse's engine cut out for no reason right before entering the gates of the cemetery. They tried for 20 minutes to restart the car, but it just wouldn't go. The family resorted to carrying the coffin to her gravesite. Following the service, they tried starting the hearse again and straight away the engine revved and the car showed no signs of trouble whatsoever. Another user responded saying that the exact same thing had happened at their grandpa's funeral. And while there's often rational explanations for these strange events, if it brings the family even a little bit of peace during such difficult times, then that's all that really matters. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. 
This strange little clip has unknown origins, but it was uploaded to Reddit by user What I Imagine. It appears to be some security footage overlooking an open lot. We can see a dog rummaging around. But watch what happens next. Out of nowhere, the dog appears to vanish and an orb of light flies up into the air. Here it is again with a light filter over the footage. So what's to be made of this strange little clip? A lot of viewers joked that the dog had to return to his home planet and that his people needed him. Others were a little more alarmed at the footage, struggling to explain the strange orb that the dog seems to transform into. Some more keen-eyed commenters thought they could spot a cut in the edit, suggesting it's all just staged. They noted the low resolution too, which would make it easier to hide an obvious edit. Ultimately though, I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers, for final judgement. Before we take a look at a clip that was sent to us that was captured in one of the most haunted places in the UK, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. Clumber Park in Nottinghamshire, England has recently been named one of the most haunted places in the UK, jostling among the top list with Edinburgh Castle, the British Museum and the Tower of London. Clumber Park has a long and storied history. It originated as a monastic property in the Middle Ages. Over the years, the title to the property passed through several well-off families before eventually becoming the seat of the Pelham Clintons, Duke of Newcastle. After being ravaged by several house fires, the main house was demolished in 1938. A Gothic Revival chapel was among the only original buildings to remain. Over the years, rumours proliferated that the property is haunted by a lady wearing a long grey coat or cape. She's become known as the Grey Lady of Clumber Park and has only ever been spotted in fleeting glimpses. Those who claim to have seen her say she lingers by a tree but when you go over to take a better look, she dissipates into a mist, never to be seen again. And while up until now these sightings have remained hearsay, several photos and a short video were sent to us by a viewer that may prove the Grey Lady's existence after all. This clip was sent to us by Hannah Rowett. She was walking through Clumber Park late at night when she thought she spotted something out the corner of her eye. She whipped out her phone and captured this. The first photo shows a misty shape off to the left of the path. This alone could be explained away as mist or a glitch in the camera. However, a short video was captured as well. Take a look. As you can see, a misty shape lurches off the path to the left. But when the torch is shined in that direction, there's nothing there. Slowing the footage down, it almost looks like someone running in a crouched position. The freaky thing is, this fits the description of the Grey Lady almost perfectly. A fleeting glimpse of someone moving, then dissipating into a misty nothing. So could this really be the infamous Grey Lady of Clumber Park? Given the historical accounts, the tragic house fires and the numerous reported sightings, one has to wonder whether there is indeed a spirit lingering on this historic property. Now if you want more mysterious video clips like the ones you've just watched, then check out these links right there. Also a reminder, we've got an awesome range of hoodies and tees. If you want to check it all out, hit up that merch shelf just below the player there. Otherwise there's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. <gasps>